So here's the solution to my minor problems. I called the company and they sent me a brand new unit. I replaced, I had the toilet for three years. I replaced this control module uh, twice. This would have been my third time. Uh, the same problem. The pump would uh, run, 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 run too long. Then the overload in the pump would trip out, the alarm would come on and uh, start the process again. So basically uh, what you've got is uh, the white power cord and the black cord goes directly to the pump. Everything could be done from the top. very easy to remove, very easy to maintain. The problem is, in the end, it had to be maintained every two, two days. Now on the other side is where your basket is. I keep my the tools in there and the, uh, whatever I need to work on the toilet. So the whole thing, yeah, that's the problem right there. Once I clean them off, it would work. I change soaps and nothing happened, nothing changed. All right, so here, here's the side, you pull the basket out in case something uh, was dropped in the toilet. You could take the item out. Uh, to pull the basket out completely and remove the pump, uh, this basket is held by four screws. Phillip heads. Um, very easy to remove. But before you do that, before you remove it, I notice you have to take out the centerpiece, the, uh, the blades. That's a 7 16 socket. You see, I'm going to try to take it out and I won't be able to do it because the blade is hitting the side. So I get my 7 16 sockets with a little extension, put a screwdriver on the blade to hold it back from spinning and uh, remove it. Just be careful putting your hand down there. It's a razor blade. But no big deal. Just take your time. Take them out, put them to the side. And now the basket should come out easily with one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other hand. All right, now you got that out. Now this is the way the whole unit comes out. Okay, no big deal. Everything is done from the top. Everything is attached to one to the other. Control module. Right to the pump. And if you have to replace the control, well, I'm showing you now, in case, that's the impeller. In case you got hair stuck in there, there's four screws you could remove 
take the cover off and get the hair out. And there's your power cord. And then from, uh, from the control module, you have a black wire. Goes directly to the pump. And you undo it at the pump if you just want to replace the control module. See it right there? You just unscrew it and uh, you remove the whole control module. That's where the blades attach. Now the hardest part of this whole job is that uh, metal ring, metal strap right there. Yep, that's it. That's the hardest part of the job, uh, removing that so you could undo the pump from the discharge line which is attached to your plumbing in the house. So what I did, I took my video camera or my cell phone and I took a video uh, through the control module opening to show me where the connector is so I could put my uh, screwdriver on it which way it was facing but it's a simple pump you know you have the control module the control module senses the water tells the pump to come on when the water is so low it shuts it off and that's it very nice system the hardest part is this I was surprised is that rigid white uh, hose I would think it'd be flexible but it's very, very rigid. So, I'll put everything back together. And have it for spare parts. That's how I always do things. And then you have the pump, you see it's on a track inside, so it could slide in and out. That's a nice feature. When you, when you have kids and you drop something down the toilet and they flush it, it doesn't mess anything up. It just goes to that uh, basket and stops right there. Well, everything it's put together very well on the cords. Everything has a place for it. You want to put the cords nice and neat. So when you put the cover on, you have no problem putting the cover on. And the excess uh, wire to the pump, just tuck it in. And this whole unit, I will put it together, put it back in the box, and leave it for storage. Who knows? I like to keep things uh, on hand. Probably in a year or so, I'll throw it out. <laughs>